Hey, how's it going, folks? ET here with a Final Cut Pro X or 10 tutorial. It's very simple, very fast. If you're coming from iMovie or any other editor, it's a little bit tricky to find out how to make your voice high pitch or low pitch, but in all actuality, it's very simple. What you're going to do is go over to the right side here in the middle. You're going to click on the Show or Hide the Effects browser if it's not already exposed. Uh, you're going to go ahead and do a search for pitch, P-I-T-C-H. And what you're going to do is drag this onto the section of video or audio, if it's combined. And from there, you're going to go to the top right corner. Potentially, it could be set on video, but what you're going to do is click audio. And from here, you can control the amount of pitch, whether it's high pitch or low pitch. So let's have a quick listen. Watch out for the radio. Okay, so that's the normal. And we're going to go ahead and go high. Ready? And of course, you can control the, the amount of pitch on the high side or the low side. Until you get the desired sound. Now, conversely, if you want to go low, you just go to the left here. And then it'll be a low sound. And again, use the slider until you get the effect that you're looking for. Took me a while to find it. Coming from iMovie is really easy to find it in iMovie. Again, so what you do is, depending on where you're at here in the effects browser, make sure you're on that first one here. You're going to go down to the bottom. You can search for it by scrolling, but it's easier just to type pitch. And then drag that on the piece of audio or video that you want to control. And again, make sure you're on the right submenu up here. There's video, audio, and info. And then you can control whether the pitch is high or low. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and as always, peace and aloha.